The News for Jack's I team has uncovered new troubles for the online used car dealer Carvana. The company could lose its license to sell cars in the state of Florida. The state's threatening to pull the company's dealer license over some ongoing title issues. News for Jack's I team investigator Tark Miner joining us. Uh, have you, and I understand you've talked with another customer who's faced these kind of issues with Carvana. Yeah, the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, they want Carvana to turn over all of its title applications for any car sale prior to December 1st, 2021, which is basically every car the company has sold since opening in Florida in 2018. So if Carvana, if Carvana fails to do so, they could have their dealer license suspended as new complaints about delayed titles, registrations, and tags continue to pour in. I started realizing I had a problem probably about two months in, in, uh, after I bought the car. Jamar Clark contacted the News for Jack's I team because he still doesn't have his vehicle's title, registration, and license plates. After purchasing this 2019 Nissan Maxima in March of 2021, Clark, who lives in Georgia, says Carvana has issued him four temporary tags from the state of Florida. And ironically, he says he's received letters from Carvana about the status of his car that are leading to more confusion. Last couple of months, I've been receiving a your your um you're in the risk of illegally owning the car. And I'm like, how am I, I'm, I'm paying all my, my insurance, my time, my, my car payments on time. How am I at risk after I've been sending you information? Clark is just one of dozens of customers to complain about title delays from Carvana, which is facing similar complaints from drivers in California, Texas, Michigan, North Carolina, and most recently Pennsylvania, where some customers have filed a class action lawsuit. Now the state of Florida is threatening to suspend the company's license to sell cars here. In an email to the I-Team, a Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicle spokesperson writes in part, the department has been proactively working with Carvana to identify and assist Florida customers who have not received their title in a timely manner. The department has notified Carvana that if it fails to submit title applications for any sale made prior to December 1, 2021, by January 31, 2022, the department may commence administrative action to suspend Carvana's dealer license in Florida. News for Jacks reached out to Carvana asking the company to explain why so many customers are experiencing title delays. A company spokesperson wrote back, Carvana appreciates our constructive and continuing dialogue with DHSMV and will continue to serve Florida customers fantastic car buying experiences. Jamar Clark tells News for Jacks he's been pulled over by police for driving on expired temporary tags. And even though the officer only issued him a warning, he thinks Carvana should be held responsible. At, at least, you know, citations, but at most, shut Carvana down if, 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 they're, if they're continuing to do this, especially after the story that's being put out from you. Uh, shut them down. Now, the state of Florida has already filed two administrative complaints <clears throat> against Carvana. The state's first complaint resulted in only a $6,000 fine. Joy?